a native of Otako, Japan, who studied at Plattsburgh State University in upstate New York, has made his way back to the U.S. after the devastating earthquake and tsunami hit Japan on March 11th. In an exclusive to MyABC50.com, he recalls the devastating events. A minute after the first quake at Akibara Station in central Tokyo, where Kasama had just gotten off the train, he shot an image of a broken pipe spreading water. Some lights and maybe windows fell off a sidewalk in Akibara, Tokyo, where Kasama was walking. Kasama saw people escaping into streets in Akibara. He says the ground was still shaking at that time. People checked the TV news two hours after the first quake, according to Kasama. Tiles fell off a building where Kasama was walking. As public transportation stopped, according to Kasama, people were purchasing bikes to go home. Most food was sold out on the first day, according to Kasama. Even on the fourth day, he couldn't find much food at convenience stores in Tokyo and in his hometown. Kasama walked past a building in central Tokyo where broken glass had fallen. He found shelter in a temple in Tokyo where he stayed the night. Behind is the Tokyo Tower where he would later learn that the top part was slightly bent by the quake. A scene from Kasama's hometown, the ground was liquefied and almost everywhere was dusty and sandy. Utility poles in some buildings were leaning according to Kasama. A street in his hometown of Itako, Japan. This has been Holly Boname for MyABC50.com.